All right. Okay, third time the charm. We are recording, and this is being recorded on my live stream. And, yeah, we're going to make a techno track in Bitwig. I have the L2 here, just so I don't blow any eardrums. And we're going to be doing some neat techniques. I'm not an expert in Bitwig, but I play one on TV. All right. I really like the Freaks on Beats volume. Two. No, wait, I don't want to drag that into the instrument. I'll just drag a new audio track. I'll double click, and then I'll have my event here. So I'll just find a kick. All right, that one sounds really deep and boomy. Oops. Right, there we go. And then I will duplicate by selecting this. There you go. Still figuring it out, but whatever. It's all good. I'll loop it. I'll bring up the BPM. And I really like this because this saves me having to constantly consolidate. I'm only going to use what I use here. All right, so we have this. I'm going to add another kick. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to take out the initial attack, solo it. Faded in. Very cool. Cool. We have a lazy man's techno groove here. And I really like Bitwig because you can just add little audio events in their loops. Or you can make them in loops by dragging up here or dragging down here. Really cool feature. Sounds neat. Okay, cool. Let's add some effects. Keep in mind, I haven't been using Bitwig that often. And in all honesty, what am I doing? Yeah, there we go. In all honesty, um, this will be the first track I've made fully. So that's pretty cool. So I think I should call this my first ever track made in Bitwig. That is neat. I haven't stopped saying neat. All right. All right. Um. Oh, everyone's telling me what time it is. You know what time it is. All right, cool. I apologize from before. My webcam was kind of broken, but I have a new one being delivered. What the heck? Stop that.
let's go hall. sound a little weird to you but it is 22 minutes after midnight and i have a house full of people i'm just being considerate so i'm not able to listen to the low end as much as i'd like to i have it very very quiet the eq is actually very fantastic in my opinion all right let's get I can't really hear what's going on in the low end, but we'll just guesstimate. Let's uh, compress it. Makeup is not on by default, which messes me up sometimes. just to add tracks it's really really fun let's go shaker i don't use shakers nearly as much as i'd i'd like to right, so just double click there and just add them in love it all right and you can quickly just add two two different sounds in the same loop and you don't even have to consolidate since we have our loop built up it's already looped and you can just Go to town. You think of these as like little tiny sequencers, which is really exciting. Like one of the things that I would like to see in la later revisions is to like add like stacking, but have it within the actual event here in this actual like audio event. And you can like have different sounds stacked up on each other and you can build like really complex loops and then have them, you know, as a simple little guy like that. Yeah. All right. Let's, open, let's have an open high end. Yeah. This is like the damn it. This is like the new standard. See if you drop it up here, it like clicks in, so you can't necessarily do that. But whatever. This could be like, I feel this could be like the new standard for techno, like techno production. Fantastic little EQ here makes it very easy. And you can copy. Yeah, that needs a bit of reverb. You gotta just use a lot of reverb. Let's see. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is kind of break the rules here. I'm going to add my favorite. My favorite compressor to the master channel just to see what it sounds like and then i'm going to eq some fun stuff in there but it's a little bit too hot 
So I'm going to bring the amplitude down. But then I'll bring it back up, don't worry. Why is it released so slow? sucks I can't really turn it up that much um, I'm going to add an EQ just to see what's going on and then you know it'll help me build upon you know all this fun stuff that I'm doing right now just a fun little simple track add the Pro-Q turn on I get this fab filter Pro-Q and this is the Waves SSL comp it's the basically a glue compressor Kind of like the glue, made by the same, well, the same idea, not made by the same guy. So I will go post EQ. A whole lot of low in there. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn this off because it'll mess up my, you know. Because we're not quite done yet. We're not at the mastering stage, indeed. Just going to check the comments. We're all good. Okay. Let's go. No dot frames. Perfect. I'm going to add an on audio track. And I just like using samples. So what else? Actually, I might as well use a synth. And I'll add just a quick little polysynth here. tool up. It's just something that, you know, I'm used to. It's all muscle memory. Alright, let's just get a little groove here. That sounds so weird. What is wrong with me today? Oh. That's why. Yeah, maybe I should pay attention. My apologies. All right, let's crank this up. distortion with some EQ. Pre and post, I would assume. There we go. That sounds okay. 
Nothing too crazy. Where is our side chain? Oh, we don't have one yet. We do not. Alright, let's add dynamics. Prefader. I'll add an EQ2. So an EQ, it's kind of like the post filter uh, in Ableton. signal chain like the the audio engine is superb there are of course a few things that I would change hold on I got questions da, 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 da. Mortal Kombat what's up <laughs> 90s vibe techno yeah that's what I'm going for yeah everyone's 303ing oh take care Hubert thanks for or her Hubert, yeah, Hubert. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. Here, bro. Uh, da, 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 okay. There we go. Right, and we can just process until the day is, the day is done. I like this little dynamic section here. That reverb is a little bit too tasty. How do I make that louder? Very, very cute. Let's get rid of that guy. What the heck? I broke it. Sound 
very oldies. Load the reverb on that clap, indeed. That's a good idea, actually. Oops. I broke it. Oh, I did break it. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, I did break it. That was weird. So I guess like super fast modulation breaks it. I apologize to everyone's ears. I just can't really getting ideas down. Oh, I just totally made that louder, didn't I? Alright, uh, let's do that to make it a loopy. No, I won't do that. So, what I want to do is I want to get this stuff out of the way. This is just how I do things. So, deal with it. No, let's see. Where are we in terms of... Oh, let's put them way over here. Alright, so... I, I like to have... One thing I've been doing lately is just having kick and bass the first thing that starts out, just so you know. Oops. Just so you know what's up. And then I'll go over here. Whoa, wrong way. And let's yeah. Uh, yeah, we're right about there. Yeah, it's really cool because like you can just loop, and it's like so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy to loop. Who knew that it could be so easy? And all that. Yeah, g yeah. Give the demo a try. It's like fully functional, which is cool. Besides, you can't save. Alright, I just want that just to bam, just to punch you in the face. With the balls. How does that work? Oh, I had them both selected. I'm a silly pants. Eh, no matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I had them both. Yeah, that's what happened. That's all good. I was like, why is that longer? I forgot to deselect. And I'll do that. Duplicate. And I'll add some little effecties later. When you can group, that is the way forward. What is this one? Yeah. Whoa. Add an end 
envelope there. Yeah, does it start weird? I don't understand what you're doing. Very fun track. There we go. So you hear that difference? Right, it's still there, but it's just out of the way. Is disappearing. Mm, okay. Very cool. Yeah, this is the arrangement aspect. add some effects because that's how we really get some things happening and then we could do actually I will create entire scenes yeah that way there we go I don't know why it does that this because the kick is there oh, all right cool I can create like entire scenes really quickly with like instant everything there. We'll stretch that a bit. selected maybe that'll work too it's just you're trying to do stuff and it doesn't really work out sometimes there we go the that attack's a little bit too intense so we squish the dynamics but it adds a nice little effect some effects 
here. I wish it copied the routing, but you know, it can't be picky right now. Bitwig new, ah, uh, it's been out for like two weeks, three weeks ish. Adventurous, some delay. I want to do. I'm gonna LFO mod that. Wait, nope. Don't you think? Sounds more interesting, I think. that in there in my opinion now I've changed my mind I reject everything that I've done so far
That's loud. That's how you get into that. Like full screen editing.
painting. What? Is someone spamming my channel? What are you doing? You guys are silly. I just want to add little tiny things here and there. figure out this reverb because it sounds pretty good. I'm going to add another one that I enjoy. I'm going to add two. Two, 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 two. Uh, our verb. Oh, yeah. Please fix search because a lot of times it doesn't show up. Our verb does not show up. And then I have to learn my ABCs and it's frustrating. You are. No, wait. Letters? Am I blind? Wait, is it not? Oh, there it is. Lol. God, this is fantastic. Like when you really figure out these little tiny workflow things. Cool. 
Uh, I would like, please, a white noise sweep from my favorite white noise folder. 16 bars. Very cool. I should actually get into the habit of naming these because I just double click and then there they are. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's reverse. Let's raw it. Wait. Back. Oh, okay. What is going on? I'm kind of freaking confused. No. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Right on. <laughs> I swear, some of the things that this does is just weird. More of this dynamics, gentlemen. There we go. And wait a minute. Did I? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure what I did. What the hell? Did I just select the wrong thing? Yeah, I did. And yeah, uh, put that one there. And then that one there. And that one there. Bob Ross, indeed. I am the Bob Ross of everything. Do you ever talk to viewers? Yes, I do. Um, right now, I'm, I'm recording an actual video. But uh, after this, we're going to hang out. It's my first ever Bitwig song of Doom. So in the master, let's add an R verb just because this adds a lot of nice and a lot of nice sheen. I don't know. Automation is just so wacky, but I guess it's just not what I'm used to. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully this is enjoyed. Yeah, that's cool. Did uh, whoa no? Oh, you ass! Fab filter. Fab filter is causing a crash. doesn't like it. Can I reload fab filter? Because when I turn it on, you'll notice the meter up here and everywhere just goes ballistic. The master. What if I like change preset and then go back? Yeah, that's a weird thing. I'm not sure what is happening there. It could be some sort of plugin sandboxing thing doesn't happen doesn't happen that often but it happens enough to be like what it's never happened on the fab builder though it happened before it usually happens on plugins when you like move a value very quickly so you have to be very careful we'll just use this regular eq just for fun
needs a bit more bottom. Oh wow, search works now. Many, many cool. That's cool. Let's, yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, the EQ is like really sensitive. Like it goes like 24 dB. When Ableton is like 10, so it's like really easy to overdo it. Okay, and I guess I will do that. <gasps> oh, we plug and crashed, but project is still there, so we'll just reload all plugins. Very cool. And why is it quieter? Did it just get quieter? That's weird. What happened? Is that just me? Um, yeah, sandboxed. That is, that is pretty powerful. All right, well, I guess that is my track. Does stuff. Um, yeah, just generally getting used to Bitwig. And uh, it's fun. Like, the workflow is pretty cool. A few little things I'm not too comfortable with, but it's pretty fun to get things going. Oh, that's what's happening. How'd that happen? Oh, the threshold somehow got bumped down. Oh, well, yeah, I completely reset the plugin. All right, uh, well, I guess that's it for that. I uh, hope you liked it and have a good one.